Welcome everyone to Playboy Magazine, uh, February 1962. We have a, a nice issue for this month. Um, I like the style on the front. It's a very sort of a stylish front cover. Uh, I like this lady here. I like the little Valentine's card. Uh, I like this style here, just the handwriting as well. Just listing who's in the magazine this month. So we've got uh, Girls of Rome. We've got the 1962 Playboy Jazz Stars. We've got Silverstein at the zoo. We've got, uh, well, Silverstein Zoo. So he's drawing some uh, very strange animals, which we'll see. We've got the Bugatti by Ken Purdy, new fiction by Bernard Wolf, uh, Bruce Friedman and Gerald Kirsch. Let's have a quick look. So lots of ads here as per usual uh, contents. So yeah, we have my brother Ernest Hemingway. This is by Lester Hemingway and this is part three. You'll know the continuation from the previous two issues. Uh, we have Anthony from afar, uh, that's Bernard Wolf. We've got Larry Siegel with Comedy of Eros. Um, we've got Shel Silverstein with uh, Silverstein Zoo. And there's some artwork there that's very reminiscent of um, Ralph Steadman. And I'll explain a little bit about that in a minute. Um, so we've got Ken Purdy with Bugatti, Leonard Feather with the 1962 Playboy All-Stars, and Bruce J. Friedman with The Investor. So we'll carry on through the magazine, see what we have for this month. I have already read through this issue and um, it's a pretty good issue, some nice articles. I'm enjoying the one um, with uh, Lester Hemingway. This is a nice little uh, story to read through. Oh, sorry, not, it's not a story, it's a, a biography, biography piece. So some nice photos in there as well. So that's worth a read. We have uh, this advert here. So this is um, Big New Entertainment RCA Victor. Um, so lots of record um, advertisements in the magazine. More and more of those coming through. Pretty much every few pages we have lots of music. Uh, we have uh, plans now set for Baltimore Playboy Club. Uh, so lots of them opened up. We had New York, I think New Orleans, Baltimore, Chicago and more to come as well. Then we have uh, Anthony from a farm. This is by Bernard Wolf, a fictional piece. Behind his slick facade, there was a dangerous brittleness, a ghastly begging. So nice little uh, drawing here as well. Fitting out for twin eared sounds. And this is what you would obviously need in your bachelor pad at the time. So you need your instruments, your amps, speakers, all in this uh, dark wood style, which was reminiscent of the uh, 60s. And when things started getting very colorful as well at the same time. Silverstein Zoo, and these images are very um, similar to Ralph Steadman, who's a, a bit more of a modern artist. Um, he drew with uh, Hunter S. Thompson, but he did, he always still does these kind of drawings where they're kind of exaggerated styles or fictional styles of animals. He's done a couple of books, one with birds, um, from what I remember. I've got a couple on my book shoulder. I'll have to grab them out. But uh, this is his style. Um, very, I say, if you look at this and you look at uh, Ralph Steadman, you will see they're they're very very similar in style. And Ralph Steadman was actually a, originally a draftsman drawer, and he did a very sort of um, architectural style. But he then took that into sort of cartoons and drew for Hunter S. Thompson. If you don't know who Hunter S. Thompson is, um, just Google him and have a read up. A very interesting character, uh, to say the least. So we've got Robert L. Green, three fashion finds. So these are kind of Italian style Riviera. These kind of wool, sort of cotton style, these very bold sort of pinstripe and striped jackets. Um, but that's uh, the style for the time. And we've got uh, Dedham here. It's a nice little cartoon. The Spanish Prisoner. This is by Gerald Kirsch. So it's a nice little piece. The resourceful Vicaro's courage was matched only by his enduring love. So we always have these stories of kind of passion and love and sort of bravery, a very manly thing. This is our playmate of the month, a Nordic charmer, warns the wintry scene. Um, so yeah, nice style of imagery here, much better than the last ones I think that we've had. Um, and this lady's name is um, Carrie Nudson. Um, so you can see her here ice skating and obviously she's Norwegian. This playmate of the month, only a small um, piece for her here, only a small um, sort of uh, piece with a pictorial, not too much going on. Gain Wilson, uh, and this is Disney will flip, and obviously here we've got the we've got uh, was this um, Daffy Duck, uh, Mickey Mouse, and Pluto, I guess that's Pluto. Uh, it looks like it's on there on the moon. And then we have Ken W. Purdy with Bugatti. I, I have to admit, I do like Bugattis. I love the style. Maybe not this era but it's 
I think it's just this colour that's kind of putting me off. But um, uh, when it was in that kind of classic blue that the Bugattis had, I really like those. The 1962 Playboy All Stars, and this is done by Leonard Feather, who you remember is a British, um, I believe, composer, journalist, writer. Um, and I really like these caricature images here uh, of all the different people that are featuring. So there's some really nice uh, artwork here. So we've got Jude, Duke Ellington, Dizzy Gillespie, these other names you'll know, Ray Brown. And then in uh, what we've got here, uh, Jerry Mulligan, Buddy DeFranco, Milt Jackson. And I like this this sort of selection here. Um, it reminds me of those little figures that you used to get for like football teams. I can't remember what they were called. Um, the little figures, it's done in that style. But I like the little Sinatra one here, of his cheeky little grin. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald. So that's a really nice little lineup there. Uh, different musicians and a nice drawing as well. And then we have the Investor. Um, so this is by Bruce J. Friedman. This is a fictional piece. Timely Revival. And this is about pocket watches. I do like pocket watches as well. I never really have the occasion to wear them. Um, but I have to say I do like them. And this is a laurel reef salute to the beautiful senoritas of the eternal city. And this is the three, um, sorry, the girls of Rome, a pictorial essay. So some nice images here. Little bit of nudity showing there. I like this style. The very sort of dark kind of... Um, imagery I, I like this or darker hair uh very nice nice images here and you remember they've done pictorials before i think one was in sweden um this is the italian one they've done a couple of others as well i'm sure there were some more nordic countries but a big pictorial this is a really sort of big um, piece for the magazine i think it goes to three or four pages maybe more uh, i like this hair i do like the big uh hair of the 60s uh always like that so and then we've got Alberto Vargas with another one of his drawings. And it looks like she's just got some diamonds here. Uh, so I'm tilting my head because obviously the image is sideways. But I will be putting this on Twitter. Don't forget to have a look on there, which is twitter.com forward slash 109 media. You'll find me on there. And I do a little selection of uh, cuts from the magazine and I put them on Twitter for you to have a look, little look through. This is interesting here, actually. Um, Deming, New Mexico. Ranch of your own in the healthiest, sunniest climate in all America. $199 per half acre which I don't know what that works out to in current money, but $5 down and $5 per month. Um, this just seems crazy. I don't know if this is some kind of mail-in scam or something else, some catch to it, but that just seems so cheap. But I guess it's maybe out in uh, New Mexico somewhere where it's very, very desolate. And so they can't really charge you too much because you're going to struggle to actually live there. But interesting, I'm going to do some research on this, just find out what that was about. Uh, let's just keep going through. We've got some continuation of all the stories we've seen so far. Some more cartoons here as well. Classic style. And I think Playboy today even, they still produce the cartoons in this style where it's kind of not a full page. It's like a little brushed ink sort of watercolour style. But they try, they try to replicate that up to the present day, which I guess is okay. But you'd think they'd maybe work something out, maybe put a new style in, keep some things that are relevant. But this is uh, nice here. This is a nice um, drawing. I don't know who the artist is. I can't find a name. Actually, there is one at the top here. Uh, it is um, Chuck Miller, which is, yeah, I thought it was his style. So Chuck Miller, very faint there. Uh, and it says, uh, is that land? Land sakes? If it wasn't for me, you'd all go out there half-dressed. And obviously got their little Trilby style hats on and their canes. But that's a really nice style of drawing. Good to see Chuck Miller back in the magazine again. More cartoons, always featuring these kind of uh, Arabian princes. I think we're almost done. That's it. We're finished for this month. Um, obviously, this is the Easter weekend, so I hope you've got some good weather and you're not locked down and you can get out and see some friends, uh, go to the parks, do whatever you need to do. I've been hitting the garden, getting that ready for spring, planted, planting some new plants, tidied up the pond, and I'm still trying to work on the uh, podcast just uh it's pure logistics of getting the people on working out times and that kind of thing and i'm going to kind of jazz up the channel a bit as well i'm going to get some new artwork on there the patreon's going to start getting some new updates we're going to do some daily ladies on there as well uh, for any of the gentlemen or ladies who obviously want to see that kind of thing so i know it's a big part of the magazine but i'm going to go and work on that tonight i hope you have let's say a good uh, bank holiday weekend uh, i will be back on sunday most likely for march 1962 and i'll see you then